talking about how Boston is a hub for biotech, but what a lot of people don't know is also a hub for robotics. How, how did that become this way? Oh, I, Boston's a real hub of robotics because um, I think because of the anchor tenants that are here, the universities like MIT, uh, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, UMass, um, Companies like iRobot came out of those institutions, and now companies are coming out of companies like iRobot. Now, you work on a few different drone robots <laughs> at Sci-Fi. What sets your technology apart? Um, we've been developing drones that are persistent. A lot of drones, you send them up, and you have to bring them down within 20, 30 minutes. Hours, you send them up, and you leave them there. And that gives a whole range of new applications, from a monitoring to security to managing an entire facility. And the trick to doing it is a microfilament tether. So actually powering them from the ground and allowing them to fly, you know, 24 seven. So it's not necessarily making battery life longer. Right, it's right. powering them a different way. Exactly. So, you know, we, we talk a lot about drones. You know, Jeff Bezos has said drones are going to be delivering my Amazon products to they my doorstep. They won't be doorstep. tethered like ours, well, though. Well, so <laughs> when does that actually happen? I think it happens in around 2020. Before last year, so there was absolutely... So in four years, my Amazon... Yeah. I believe that, that people be will be able home? to deliver. This is the first year where you'll be able to go out and fly commercially, legally. Last year, you had to get an exemption. This year in the summer, you'll be able to fly legally. It'll take about four more years to be able to fly over people into uh, populated neighborhoods. But it will come, and it's coming really quickly. The technology is developing so fast. It's a really, really exciting time to be in the drone space. Now, you actually just went to an AI getaway, which was hosted by Amazon, hosted by Jeff Bezos. How is he thinking about this? What is he interested in? Oh, um, I think at Amazon they've been concentrating on delivery, but there's a whole host of other applications at Amazon, like the um, fulfillment center robots. They bought Kiva Robotics a few years back, and now they're automating um, their fulfillment centers. So I think there's so many applications when you're a logistics company to uh, look at robots, and that's why there's so many startups in robots, uh, robotics and drones right now, because right. there's so many, so many great Kiva, applications. Kiva, by the way, from Boston. Right. Yes, yeah, Kiva's from Boston. So, you know, Google went big on robots. They bought that company, Boston Dynamics, and, mm -hmm. and now they're getting getting rid of it. Do you know what went wrong there? I mean, do you think that robotics companies can't no, thrive inside think, these, these bigger tech I Google's stepping away from robotics. If you look at the robotic cars and the drone delivery that they're concentrating on, I think they might be stepping away from humanoid robots because it might be a bit too far from commercializable right now. But... Um, I don't think they're stepping away from robotics. It's just you have to get into commercial applications first and then move to uh, more and more complex um, machines. Now, the company iRobot, the other robotics company that you founded, they're actually facing a proxy battle right now. And I wonder what you make of the changes that Red Mountain is calling for. Oh, um, well, I have no affiliation with iRobot <laughs> currently, so I right. can speak about it. But this is your company, um, right? Oh, yeah, I, I co-founded it, and I have to say I'm still a stockholder in it. Yes. <laughs> um, but I, I, you know, I'm, I'm with the management because I think outsiders don't really know the industry. They don't really know what it takes to get robotic products, especially robotic consumer products, on the market and have them um, function for people and... Um, be able to stay on the cutting edge of innovation like iRobot has and be able to get next generation of products that make the users happy in their hands. There's a lot that's involved in all different aspects from design, innovation, right. to manufacturing, customer support. There's so many things that the people at iRobot are real experts in.